Welcome back, everyone. A coronal mass ejection, or CME, impacted Earth's atmosphere earlier today. And since that CME did arrive, a G4 geomagnetic storm has been occurring. And that G4 geomagnetic storm is expected to continue through the entire night tonight. And what that means is that the aurora borealis is likely going to be visible throughout the entire northern U.S. And that includes here in Montana. And it's likely going to be visible not just on the horizon, but also overhead. Right now, it is forecasted to be visible throughout the entire higher night, but it is going to be strongest between sunset and midnight. So once the sun does set, once it gets dark enough, definitely go check out the northern lights if you can. It's likely going to be strong enough that it will be visible in towns. But of course, if you guys get away from city lights and have a clear view to the north, that's going to give you the best opportunity to see the Aurora Borealis. And just a note for those of you that may have not seen it before, to a lot of us, it is just going to look like a white haze or a gray haze to the naked eye. But if you take a photo with either the camera on your phone or an actual camera, that will pick up the colors. And if this storm is strong enough, we will be able to see the colors with our naked eye. And of course, I will keep you guys updated on the Aurora Borealis and I will post some photos on my Facebook page, meteorologist Ryan Dennis. So make sure you check that out to keep updated on our Aurora Borealis chance overnight tonight. On the Great Falls Clinic Eye Cam, for most of today, it was mostly cloudy, but the skies have been clearing out over the past few hours. So we have a lot of sunshine right now. There have also been a few showers around today, primarily in southwestern and central Montana. This precipitation has been very light in nature, though, so it's only amounted to a few hundredths of an inch in most spots. A cold front has been working its way through Montana since last night, and that cold front is responsible for the cooler temperatures that we had today, as well as the cloud cover that we did of around for most of the day. As we go through tonight, we are going to have partly cloudy to mostly clear skies in north central Montana. Most of us will have mostly clear skies, which will allow us to have a very good viewing of the northern lights. A few showers are possible in the eastern part of the state early on tonight, but most of us will be dry tonight. Tomorrow, we are going to have partly cloudy skies throughout the day. A couple isolated showers are possible. Most locations will continue to remain dry, though. Then we are going to have decreasing clouds as we go through tomorrow night with mainly sunny skies expected this weekend. It has been hazy again today in southwestern Montana. For the rest of us, we have had little to no haze and good air quality throughout the day. And it will continue to be hazy for the entire night tonight in southwestern Montana with some areas of near surface smoke around the closer you are to the Idaho state line. That haze and smoke will then start to work its way back into north central Montana as we head into tomorrow. So the air quality will be back in the moderate category in some locations and the visibility will be reduced some as we go through tomorrow. Overnight tonight, just a light breeze in most spots. And then for tomorrow, for a lot of us, just a little breeze. But if you are in northeastern Montana or along the Rocky Mountain front, it will be breezy tomorrow with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Low temperatures tonight are going to be in the 30s and the lower 40s. So if you are going to check out the Aurora Borealis, make sure you take a jacket with you. And you may want some long pants as well since it will be a bit chilly out there. Tomorrow, pleasant temperatures with highs topping out in the mid to upper 60s and lower 70s. And we'll continue to have pleasant temperatures as we head into this weekend with high temperatures topping out in the mid to upper 60s and lower 70s on Saturday. Lots of sunshine and pleasant temperatures on Sunday. Warm early next week with highs in the 70s and the lower 80s, but cooler and wetter weather returns for the end of next week.